shuttle was gently lowered on top of the 747. It was soft mated and then bolts tightened firmly in place on Saturday. And then on Sunday, the shuttle carrier aircraft backed out of the matey mate device and prepared for today's ferry flight. Inclement weather in the area of Kennedy Space Center caused managers to order the shuttle carrier aircraft back under the mate de mate device on Tuesday to protect it from lightning and, and severe rain. And then this morning at 4 a.m., it once again was backed out of the mate de mate device and readied for today's ferry flight to begin its trip to California, back to where it once was uh, manufactured. And we're looking live now back at the shuttle landing facility here at Kennedy Space Center. The Pathfinder jet on the left is preparing for takeoff. It will take off on runway 33, heading to the northwest. The shuttle carrier aircraft that you see is taxiing behind it with shuttle Endeavour atop. The shuttle air carrier aircraft will take off in the opposite direction heading southeast on runway 15. Again, we're looking now at the takeoff of a C-9, NASA's Pathfinder. A number of technicians who uh, worked on preparing Endeavour are aboard the Pathfinder along with a weather pilot and other staff who will would be in place to effect repairs on the shuttle at various stops along the way should that become necessary. The Pathfinder now will travel between 50 and 100 miles in front of the predicted flight path and do some reconnaissance of the weather and radio the information back to the pilots of the shuttle carrier aircraft. Pilots are an experienced group of NASA pilots who train the astronauts in flying various types of aircraft and have performed this function of flying the shuttle carrier aircraft for a number of years. Today's flight is commanded by Jeff Moultrie. He is the SCA commander in the left seat. Bill Rickey is the shuttle carrier aircraft pilot in the right seat. Three experienced flight engineers are on board. Flight engineer number one is Henry Taylor. Flight engineer two, Gary Ash. Flight engineer three is Larry LaRose. And they'll be making the first leg of this flight to Houston, Texas today. Plans are for the shuttle carrier aircraft to take off to the south southeast and we see a T-38 jet that will uh, also accompany the flight for a brief period of time for safety purposes and photographic purposes. The shuttle carrier aircraft now is taxiing to the north. It will go to the end of the runway and turn around and prepare to take off towards the southeast at about 7.15. Once airborne, the pilots intend to conduct a farewell tour of the Kennedy Space Center and Space Coast area. They'll take off toward the south, head over toward Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, then turn south down the beach and follow the beach down toward Patrick Air Force Base where they will turn inland and come back north along the Indian River and the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex before they make one low pass the full length of the shuttle landing facility about 200 feet off the ground with the landing gear up. It should be a spectacular sight. The last time that the shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour will be at Kennedy Space Center as they 
fly over the runway and then tip their wings and head on toward Houston. Should be about a 20 minute flyover of the Space Coast area. NASA, in cooperation with the Federal Aviation Administration, has arranged for flyovers along the predicted flight path when possible so that members of uh, the public and workers in the space shuttle program at NASA centers can have an opportunity to take a look at what they've done, the results of their hard work over the many years, the 30 years of the space shuttle program. Weather looks favorable along the flight path today as the shuttle carrier aircraft proceeds toward Houston to do low-level flyovers of the Stennis Space Center in Mississippi and the Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans. Both of those flyovers, as the ones here at Kennedy Space Center, will be at about 1,500 feet above the ground. A spectacular sight to watch a 300,000 pound 747 with a 175,000 pound shuttle atop thunder through the air at low, low levels. The exact flight path and the duration, of course, will be dictated by weather conditions and by fuel. The shuttle carrier aircraft pilots and the weather team and the ferry operations manager and other NASA managers have choreographed the uh, ferry flight on a fairly direct path out to Los Angeles with the intent to deliver Endeavor to Los Angeles International Airport on Friday for a ceremony that will be conducted at Los Angeles between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. NASA 905, this shuttle carrier aircraft, was the very first shuttle carrier aircraft that, that NASA purchased. It was built in 1970 and acquired by NASA in 1974 from American Airlines and modified for its shuttle carrying role. A number of the modifications include the attachment of three struts that you can see, one at the nose and two mid-body of the space shuttle in the same attach points that the shuttle was attached to the external tank when it flew in space. The other shuttle carrier aircraft, NASA 911, was built in 1973 and acquired by NASA from Japan Airlines in 1989. It carried shuttles on ferry flights 66 times over 21 years prior to its reassignment to NASA's SOFIA program that occurred in February of this year. SOFIA is the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy and it's the world's largest airborne astronomical observatory, also utilizing a 747. And when this ferry flight is complete, an Endeavour has been delivered to California, NASA 905 also will be turned over to the SOFIA program. As the shuttle carrier aircraft taxis up the runway to the north, it's stopping uh, midfield where a number of guests and reporters and workers are gathered. This is one final tribute to the workforce here at Kennedy Space Center and the many people who have served in the support role over many years. NASA 905 has been a very busy ship over the years, including this ferry flight once off the ground today. NASA 905 will have carried Shuttle Endeavour 12 times, Columbia 60 times, Discovery 38 times, Challenger 20 times, Atlantis 35 times, 
and NASA's prototype shuttle Enterprise 57 times on ferry flights and another five approach and landing test missions in 1977. And SCA Commander Jeff Moultrie maneuvering his shuttle carrier aircraft once again along the shuttle landing facility, heading to the northwest. He will turn the aircraft around and stand by for departure. Take off again, planned for 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time. You can see some clouds in the uh, general area of Kennedy Space Center. But in general, weather is favorable. There's light rain off the coast to the east. Some scattered clouds in the area. Broken clouds at higher elevations, uh, much higher than uh, our concern for today's flight, both for takeoff as well as for the flyover. And again, weather along the entire route today from Kennedy to Houston is favorable, as are weather conditions for landing in Houston later today. And we see a crowd gathered to watch this historic moment, the final ferry flight of NASA's space shuttle program. For social media users, once uh, the shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour are airborne, you can share your Endeavour sightings here in the uh, local Space Coast area and across the country by using hashtags pound spot the shuttle and pound OV-105, which is Endeavour's vehicle designation. You also will find photos posted on NASA's Flickr account. As during Space Shuttle Discovery's ferry flight departure in April, thousands of people are expected to be lining the beaches and surrounding areas of the Space Coast to watch the departure of Shuttle Endeavour. The combined weight of the shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour, nearly 500,000 pounds. The shuttle landing facility runway is 15,000 15, feet in length. They'll use about two thirds of that rolling down the runway before taking off about 10,500 feet down the runway. 
And that will begin a multi-day ferry flight that will end at Los Angeles International Airport on Friday. With a couple of stops along the way, they will be...